back to let's play Dark Apple 2 God damn it. I feel half asleep here, which is kinda understandable. It's like 4 p.m. right now and yesterday you Well, can't even say it was yesterday really. I ended up like going to sleep at 5 a.m., which is stupid, really, because, like, I was trying to sleep at 11, but when you try to sleep, like, actually try to force yourself, never works out. So I was up for, like, three and five hours before I was able to get to sleep. Then I woke up around about 10, and I've been up since, and I'm just like, uh, just kind of bit out of it there. Cherry Blossom. I'm under the everlasting cherry tree, and it's in full bloom. It's beautiful. I'm used to seeing cherry blossoms all the time, but this feels especially beautiful. It must be because I'm dreaming. It looks more fanciful than usual. Yoshiyuki! What? Why did it not... Why didn't the text for it appear then? Huh? Yoshiyuki! Huh? That sounds like Coco. What's she doing here inside my dream? <laughs> Coco's lips moved as she said something, but I couldn't hear her. Can do you speak up? Indecisive. Think about what? <laughs> It's obvious, isn't it? Huh? Why was the knocker in my dream too? So What are you talking about? You know, uh like I usually do, I start recording after I've uploaded the last bit of previous recording. And it was just like going through the whole uh what what did they call again? Test of courage something. And like when she was like, Yeah, I can't it's like Jesus Christ, you can freaking make someone go deaf with that. It's just like you overdid it, Nanaka, what the hell? It's like Jesus Christ. Can't you tell by my serious facial expression? I had no idea what she was talking about. Because Yoshiki. you're a dense dumbass! Yoshiki -kun. Wow! Now they were both clinging to me. I didn't know what was going on, but I couldn't exactly complain. I wished I could have more dreams like this. Just like, yeah, why couldn't I have more dreams like this, man? Kara! What? Kara, Kara, Kara! Oh? What? Why are Sagra san and Otna here? Why are they mad at me? Sure, he isn't already there. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Whoa! What's going on? I'm falling! I'm falling down! You're probably falling out of bed. Ah! 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 A dream? Ah. I'm so glad that was a dream. Now, it's not a dream, man. That was a freaking full on nightmare. Ah, I still feel like I'm falling. Weird. Anyway, what a terrible way to start New Year. Just like, and this dream is pleasant, and then just like you're being indecisive. What are you talking about? What we're trying to get across to you is you've got to think seriously of which girl you're going to go with. It's like, why? If you don't think seriously, you're gonna break both their hearts and you will go to hell, young man. Really? Yes. That's absurd. Well, it's just our way of saying, Island, you don't be. Just, just take it seriously or they'll kick your ass, essentially. What could it mean? 
Was I unconsciously thinking about what on there and Yumi told me yesterday? Huh? Someone's at the door. I'm coming, I'm coming. You don't have to keep ringing it. That's different. Nanaka was there wearing a beautiful traditional kimono. Her hair was clipped in a traditional style and she was standing very ladylike pure Nanaka from head to toe. Well, Happy New Year to you too. I was still in my pajamas. Bad, very bad. Um, you gotta change real quick. Can you wait for me? Oh, come on, it could be worse, man. If you advance the door in your box or something. Yeah, but I do. <laughs> or worse, you could have been naked. Wait, why the hell would you answer the door if you had no clothes on? You'd have to be really out of it. It's like I haven't woken up and didn't realize I was actually not wearing anything. I just answered the door. Just like, oh shit! I showed an act to the living room and hurried back up to my room. If not for in that kind of thing, just answer the door while fully awake and like fully de room and you answer the door, then you are an idiot. Otherwise, you just really, 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 really did think it through. I quickly threw on jeans and a sweater. There, finally presentable. I rushed into the bathroom to wash my face and brush my teeth. I'm back! Huh? Those eyes. What? Usa, usa. Jordan, Jordan. Give me a break. <laughs> I was sleeping. She sat facing towards me and bowed. A happy new year. I hope the new year treats you well. She was radiant. Traditional clothes really suited her. And the color just matches the hair and everything. And yet it was so different from her normal look, it was like seeing her for the first time. Hi, got it. She handed me an envelope. Is it a New Year's card? Yes, I I have one for you too. I went back to my room and brought back the card that I wrote for her. Here you go. We exchanged cards with each other. I would have preferred to get it in the mail, even if it was late. But I guess this is better than not getting the card at all. Uh, let me get you some tea. Tanaka grabbed my hand as I tried to stand up. Well, um... I was too shy to say it. I never thought she could look so beautiful. The word beautiful was not enough to describe how she looked. <laughs> what? You're absolutely lost for words. What? I haven't said anything about it yet. Honestly? I'd pretty much be the same. I wouldn't comment on it because I'm an incredibly shy person. So, like, I could, like, like there are loads of stuff where I'd like think, it's like, I can't say this, I'll say that. The words just never come out. It's just like, I'm more of a thinker than a talker, clearly. Shit. I knew it wasn't literally written on my face, that it's just like checks anyway, just like getting there, is it? Really? I don't see any- Oh, you freaking baby, look like an idiot. But I guess it was obvious from the way I was acting. Anaka smiled at me. I felt embarrassed. Well, let me get you some tea. Oh, come on, Anaka! I was in the house alone with Nanaka. I felt nervous. Huh? Well, now you're not gonna be the only one here. It's probably Coco, I imagine. Someone else was here. I was getting a lot of visitors today. A lot of visitors? You've got like one visitor and then a second visitor. That's not a lot. Now, if they were like. Five. At least, say, three or four at least, man. 
I'll take care of it. You can just stay there. Coming. Oh, oh what a predicted. Wait, I I predicted it. Coco. She was also wearing a kimono. The color on part was totally different from the nuggets. She looked good too. You saw like in it my like Kawaii. Uh, okay. She was surprised to see a pair of women's sandals in the entryway. Just like, oh, what have you been doing for New Year's, Yoshiyuki? They were Nanakas. Okay, uh, yeah, kind of. I had a brief flashback to my dream that morning. That was just a dream, it wasn't anything to be serious about. That's right. No, you're not, come in. Mm. I brought Coco through to the living room. Uh, eh? They looked surprised to see each other. I expect them to say hi and smile at each other. But you son of a bitch! You have the same idea. What? Back off, bitch! He's mine! But for some reason, they seemed really tense. But why? You know, I wonder if this will have any effect on the band. Just like, okay, we're gonna perform. Tension between everyone, just like, we got a love triangle going on here. Meanwhile, Wataru's just like, you just lucky son of a bitch. It's like, hey, hey, this isn't a lucky position to be in. It's freaking tense here, man. <laughs> <laughs> the facial expression. What? What's up with this weird tension between them? That face, though. Seriously, that face. It's like, uh, uh. Um. Anyway, uh, let me make you both some hot tea. Why would they answer me? Goku remains standing by the door. Seriously, like, some guys would be like, Oh, you lucky bastard. If you really think about it, that's an awkward position to be in. You got two girls that fancy you, and you don't know if you'll even go with either of the two. And either way it goes, one or even both of them are gonna have their hearts broken if you reject them. And you can't accept both. That's that's just not, not acceptable now, as you know. That that well, it does happen, I suppose, but I honestly wouldn't go that. Goku remained standing by the door. Anaka stayed fixed in the living room. What can I do? Huh? No, it reminds me of this one article I remember reading ages ago about some guy that had like multiple wives and like a lot of his wives felt neglected. And so they're just like, hey! Let's have sex, and just like, just taking turns and all that, like, all at once, just one at a time, next one, next one, and the guy actually died from it, it's like, dude, literally got fucked to death, what the fuck? That is the, that is one weird ass freaking, wow, just, that's a true story, like. Goku spoke with a loud, bright, and rather obvious tone. Anaka eased off and started smiling too. Eh, no, I imagine that that's article like with the guy that died from all that. It's probably like that one episode of Futurama. Death by Snoop Snoop. So, and they were back to normal. Each compliment to the other's kimono. I couldn't figure out what was going on. That's because you're an idiot. But I was glad that they were able to break through that tense atmosphere. Why do protagonists never pick up on these things? It's the same case all the time. Happens in real life as well, quite often as well. I prepared the tea and the three of us started on a New Year's meal that Coco brought. It was delicious. 
This is fantastic. I suppose the only reason I can see why he's still kind of like so dense about it is because he just can't believe that that's these type of girls, just like fairly popular and attractive girls, would take that kind of interest in him. He's probably like, no, nah, that's that's impossible. Absurd. No, never. Never in a million years. That's impossible. We passed our meal in silence. Eventually, we started talking. Yeah, that's right, yes. Toko laughed as she heard us responding in his own Well, it totally wasn't. I had Coco and Anakura on our side of me. They were both in beautiful kimonos and it was so different from normal. You know, I find it weird whenever... There are, I'm pretty sure there have been occasions where I have said something in my videos. I don't think it's like at the same time a character says the exact same line. Uh, it's like quite a number of times where I'll say something and they'll say the same thing right after it. It's like, look, they even said the same thing. They were both in beautiful kimonos and it was so different from normal. I felt so nervous. Anaka was beautiful, but Coco looked pretty too. She was so innocent and cute that I couldn't describe how attractive she looked. And we were all alone with me in my house. No, he's just like, I don't know how to describe him. After he describes them. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> With that? <laughs> I felt like the Lord of the Harem. Whee! Wait. This is exactly what I saw in my dream this morning. Just like, my god, it's as if I'm in a visual novel or some shit. This type of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Well, I wouldn't say it doesn't happen in real life, but I can't imagine it being so common. One girl on the other side. Huh? Does this mean that I'm about to do something indecisive? Am I going to hell? No! Uh, it's nothing. <laughs> we already said that. No! The idea of going to hell terrified me so much I'd unconsciously let out a cry. It's like, I wanna go to hell, I wanna go to hell! It's like, but you're Japanese! Do you even believe in hell? I mean, come to think about it, never really go into any detail. Back now, like, Japanese have their own kind of religion. Sure, like, we mix things of culture here and there. A lot of Japanese, like, fans mostly Japanese. Like, over 90% of the population is Japanese. So, like, they've got their own kind of stuff, but do they also believe in it? Their own version of hell? I don't know, I'm not really good with religion. Don't really have much studying into it, really. Calm down. That was just dream. <laughs> they left at me, huh? We finished eating our food. Afterwards, we fished in front of the TV. Pretty much the same thing uh, was on every day. I reports the New Year's crowds at various shrines and the annual music competitions. If not those, it was Kabuki performances and old court music. It was like this every year. The two of them smiled shyly. Being in the unfamiliar and formal kimono was clearly making them uncomfortable. That's a thing, just like... Oh, it looks nice and all, but my god, it fucking hurts! Jesus Christ! And you know what I don't get? Is women that wear high heels. What the fuck's the point? Like... Why? Can you imagine trying to, say, run in those? Or if, like, the back of just snaps? Whoa, fuck! I mean, I don't get it. And they're expensive as well. I'll never understand that. 
て普通の服に着替えてこようかそうだねおうんせっかくだから普段着に着替える前に着物のまま散歩に行かないあそれいいかも yeah, I agree. I'm getting bored with the TV. じゃあ決まり早速外に出よう寒いけどいい天気だね、yeah. そうだねお正月が雨だったらちょっとブルーだよね
なスーツ姿。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。ああ、そうだ。なんだか大人の男性って感じだよね。Make him look all business. Business, business and money, money, money. ドキドキしちゃう。I never knew that. I guess it makes sense that a business suit would make a man look sophisticated. Hmm. Someday I would make sure to wear a suit in front of them. Then they could get all gooey over me too. I wouldn't do that to them. Nah, just go with the loin cloth instead. Then, then you get a totally different reaction. We visited the shrine again, it was the same shrine from the night before. There was a huge crowd there. Honestly, it's just like, how would I look in a business suit? I just can't really picture it. Like, I'm more of the type of guy that has much simpler kind of clothes. Jeans, shirts, that's it. Occasionally, goes. That's it. I, I don't really follow with anything else. It's like, how does it look old fashioned, old trendy, or look kind of suave? Look like, like business, like, like look old fashioned, look formal. None of that. It's just like, you know, shirt, jeans, casual and humanly possible. Ah, no, ne. Omikuji, stay na. <laughs> we were so focused on eating last night that I guess we forgot to get our fortune, huh? Yes, sir. Yapari, it's an end of the Hajimari one, we could just come out on it. And so that's what we decided to do. No, 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 <笑>あんまりいい結果だとここで使い果たした気になるねそんなことないよ今年一年すごくいい年なんだよ So what? You get lucky like at the start of the year so it's like Okay we've got, we're gonna hand out some luck for you Don't use it up too quickly Just pass it out Just pass it around here Wet the I don't know なあといいけどなここは私はねえっとあ私も大吉だやったすごいじゃない<笑>ここのおみくじ大吉しかなかったりして That's believable some shrines make sure everyone gets best luck or good luck for New Year's but wouldn't that just make it just like hey that seems kind of full of じゃあこれでヨシユキくんも大吉だったら逆に怪しいってことうーんでも素直に喜んでおこうよせっかくも大吉だし Oh if it's me it's just like You might have some luck at first point of the year The rest of it Ah Don't get help stuff Just Just down Just Just like you, You'll not have much luck then Fuck That's assuming I do, anyway. I give the shrine face a coin and reach into the box to draw my face. Let's see, shake it. I shook the container gently. There. Let's see what the number popped out of it. The number is... Two circles. Oh, zero, zero. Here's number zero, zero. She gave me a piece of paper. And then I saw... I felt like I was gonna say, what the hell do you mean by extreme luck? 
just like, is that stupid to say? No, it's not, because it didn't simply say extreme good luck or extreme bad luck, and they've got the exact same facial expression. She looks like, I don't know why, she looks like a rabbit. I don't know. Hang on, let me read what it says. Let me see. You're going to have extreme luck this year. It is extreme, it goes beyond the best luck, and it's as high as the stratosphere. Everything will go well for you beyond all your wildest hopes. However, if you make a single wrong turn, you will go to hell and never be able to come back. You must live your life freely but carefully and be decisive, but don't be afraid to back off from conscience. Well, shit. What? <laughs> In other words, it's like, make a wrong choice in this, and you can kiss your ass goodbye or you can eat. Monaka and Coco looked at me with pity in their eyes. Neither of them knew how to react, they were sweating out of nervousness and confusion. I guess it's telling me to live as usual. I think. Come on, that seems a bit freaking out there, you know, for him to get a fortune like that. Pretty much. Like he has that dream, then they come over and he has a girl thing about it, then he gets his fortune, it's like it's a little too, you know, convenient that this would happen as well. But I uh, have to be the season. <laughs> But there are times when it's okay to avoid making decisions, too. <laughs> Not in this case, young man. <laughs> I don't understand this at all. What it means, Yoshiki, is when the decision comes, you must make a decision. There is no, no option. If you do manage to choose no and break both their hearts, you will go to hell, apparently. This fortune is confusing me more. I try to slip a bit into a tree branch and smile. Goodbye, my fortune for extreme luck. Seriously, what is this shrine up to? I can't believe they just admitted they're weirdos. I wasn't. Well, whatever. I thought they'd be like, no, we're as normal as normal can be. It's like, no, nope, every character is odd. Just, well, in their own way. Well, actually, everyone, like in general, is odd in their own way. And someone will always find you odd regardless of what you do, what kind of person you are. So that's why it like, feels like, you know, what is actually normal? What defines it? If just, what defines normal is all up to perspective. You, what's normal to you, or you're 
someone else, or potentially normal to someone else as well. It's just kind of a majority thing, despite the fact that a lot of people are pretty on. Wataru finally showed up. We were, he was taken by surprise as soon as he entered the music room. I admit it was odd seeing them wearing kimono inside the music room. I imagine they look even older when they actually get around to play their instruments. Well, Anaka is just singing and Coco can play bass. Yeah. It was New Year's Day after all. Hey. I to take a break. I went to the restroom and bought some juice from the vending machine. Hmm? <laughs> it was Nanaka and Wataru. They were talking by the window in the hallway. What were they doing? Could it be a confession of love? Wataru, man. I... I, I don't think you should do it, man. You're just going to run away crying. Don't do it, man. Well, if it's something you must do well, then go for it. But be prepared for... Just be prepared for rejection, man. No, it's probably something about that. Oh, sure. That's what I understand. I think I'm もちろんだよ。それは私も願っているよ。He's totally going to misunderstand this one. そういう板橋君はどうなの俺、俺は…無理でも、Okay, so, what they're referring to is, both Nanaka and Koko like Yoshiki, but only one of them could potentially get with him, and Nanaka was probably trying to get Wataru to probably go out with Koko, and even though he fancies her, he's like, now upon being given this knowledge that she likes Yoshiki, it's just like, I, I'm actually... I'm actually, you know, it's kind of like a Sunohara moment in that, it's just like, 
yeah, it's, it would be nice though, but I, you know, that'd be forcing her to like do something that she didn't really actually want to do. The feeling wouldn't be there. So what would be the point? I had lost my chance to approach them, and that Kuramataru looked so serious. I heard the, what, what they were saying, but what were they talking about? Nishiki, Whoa! I jumped as Coco tapped my shoulder from behind. He does that a lot, doesn't he? But Tara and Anaka also realized I was there. Uh, <laughs> I was just coming back from the loop. She sounded surprised. Oh, I'm back. What? Uh, oh, yeah, take whichever one you want. Thank you. I'm coffee. They were smiling like nothing had happened. Oh well, stuff happens, shit happens, I guess it's their business. Oh, you may be saying that, but it all comes back to you in the end. Sure. And next thing you know, it turns out that it's just like a complete misunderstanding on my part. They were actually talking about something entirely different, and I'm just like, wow, shit. Mataru ushered us all back to the meeting. After that, we threw ourselves into practice. Load to those power cords like. By the time we got outside, the sun was already starting to set. We decided to end practice because Nanaka was getting too uncomfortable in her Komodo. But Taro also had to go home because his relatives were visiting his family. Ah, it's a little bit of 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 a little a band. All wearing kimonos, they're on stage. That would fucking suck for them. The heat, the freaking tightness of it, I imagine. It's like, I can't fucking breathe. But I'm the lead singer, fuck. Well, it's New Year's. You guys should go home and relax now. So, sir. Yoshiki. Huh? Coco seems shy about something. What's the matter with her? Uh, what? Uh, I mean, actually, I'm going to go to the house today. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the house. I remember that Coco was following the sign to a post off the island so Coco lived alone with her mother. So, I'm going to go Doko squirmed uncomfortably. Was she about to ask to stay at my place? What did you say? Naraka's <laughs> face is to me to change. I was like, oh. She did not just make the boldest move of this game. No way! Oh, that bitch! Images flashed through my mind. Coco in the bathtub. Coco in just a t-shirt. Coco cooking just for me. Why would she be in just a t-shirt? That's a serious question. Why? Especially at someone else's house. Oops, uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, 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 now tell them what you will get up to. 
そんなこと相手はこのヨシユキだよ yeah, you know me, それでもコク一人がヨシユキ君の家に泊まるのは危険だよ私も泊まるいいでしょ、uh, sure, of course. Yeah, I'm going to spend the night alone with two girls. I knew nothing would happen, but it was still an enviable situation. Huh? What's the matter? Coco was looking down. Uh, Coco, what's the matter? Uh, 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 Like, they're getting along, but secretly on the inside, they're just like, no. I, they're just like, they care about each other's feelings and all that, but at the same time, they are like in a kind of rivalry in a way. It's like, no, bitch. Mine. No, no. Mine. 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 Just be grabbing his arm. Back and forth. Just like, my arms are gonna rip. No good. I'm not gonna decide to go home first and get changed. <laughs> I'm excited. What is with that? <laughs> you know, just as I was thinking there, it's like, what about Otne and Yume? What if they showed up? And, well, you know, like, literally less than a second after that word popped in my head, it's confirmed. <laughs> Trying to think about it, what will their thoughts be on this? Just like, oh, did you know that uh, Nanaka and Coco are staying over? It's like, what? Alone with you? No, I, I won't, we don't allow it. We're staying too. Ah, uh, uh, Clearly, my calculations were off. One guy and four girls under one roof. Girls gain strength in numbers. Good grief. Oh well. I always had fun in the crowd. I certainly don't. I'm not really the type of person I like to meet crowds. I prefer a smaller group. There was a big feast laid out on the table. It felt like I've been doing nothing but eating lately. I guess that's just how New Year's goes. That's the courage thing. And it felt like there was kind of a... Uh, there was some kind of hostile kind of... Way just like... I don't like her. The way she clings to your arm. I don't like her. You know? Yume-chan... Are you crying? Eh? No, no, no. My brother is crazy because I'm crazy. Yes, yes. Dinner. Like someone's at the door, nobody seems to be answering it. We just 
just checked at the time, yeah. Okay. That's the door there. With my sister, apparently. Yes, the door was locked. Well, anyways, though, I think I'll call it a party here. Just that. Uh, thank you for dinner. That's how we end this part. Thank you for... I should see you next time, baby. See you next time. One more note. I didn't unplug the fucking charger, god damn it! Now this audio is gonna sound like shit. Oh, why do I keep forgetting that? Why do I have to do that in the first place? It didn't used to be this way, man. Since switching laptops has just been like that all the time, I have to unplug the charger. And I don't always remember that I still have it plugged in. So I end up doing that. Might as well on screen save for the first time ever. Well, probably not the first time ever, but why not? I'll see you next time for reals then, viewers. See you next time, because I ain't recording it all over again, because that, well, I can't now, because I saved and all. But even if I didn't, fuck that shit, man. The commentary just wouldn't be the same. I mean, not that that's a bad thing, really. I mean, it could potentially be better, even. But I ain't doing that, because that's just a pain, because then I know what everything that happens is going to go as. It just wouldn't be the same, man. Well, anyways, see you next time, here. See you next time.